ship that you had seen in part one, but I decided it's important for you to know what is the minimum amount of equipment you need to get started. So I brought some things in, I'm going to show them to you, and uh, we'll go from there. It is going to be important that you get some super glue. I use, uh, it says the original super glue, and this is a gel multi pack. You'll need some thread, and I also picked up at a craft store. This is a little thicker, and it wasn't with the thread, it was just in a, a like the sewing area overall, and it has a braided look to it. And I use that for the vertical part of the climbing ladders. I use regular thread for the the actual ladder step part, but this is a little thicker, so that's again that's optional. Uh, for most of it, use probably a heavier if you can find it, thicker cotton thread, 100% cotton thread. One thing that I use more than anything else is this set of tweezers. It's kind of a bird beak style, and it came in a set. I use the other ones every once in a while, but this is the pair that I use constantly. Additionally, from time to time, I use these files, and again, this was a set. The two that I use most often are the flat one, just to sand some of the rough edges off, and this little rat tail one, and that I've used just to make some sort of a hole a little bit bigger. Also, very important and almost a must, is one of these miniature hand drills. It comes with some miniature drill bits, and that's to open up. A lot of times you'll have some rigging, and you'll need to uh, slide it through a small hole so you can drill it out bigger or a lot of times I make my own if you break something you can easily make another piece uh, a very small pair of scissors or these are just cutting cutters come in handy to cut the, uh, the thread at the very end I did go out and buy a, a assortment package of dowel rods there are two types in here both square and round and even though I don't use very much per ship, but I do make a, uh, a small treasure chest using both a small piece of the quarter inch square and then a, a half of the quarter inch round down. You'll see that when we get towards the end of the ship making. Probably one of the most important tools, and I'll call it an X-Acto knife, I'm sure that's not the proper name, but you'll need this to, to trim off the wood parts. I use it for all kinds of things. I'll, I'll like shave an edge off of one of the planks or something else, so that's imperative to have one of those. These clips, again, these are just different clips that uh, I had in a drawer. These come in very handy, as you'll see when we make the ship, to hold the planks in position. So, just some clips. I picked up some paint. I was at a craft store and they had these on clearance for 34 cents. But then I found they also have them at Walmart. Uh, regular price there I think is 59 cents, acrylic paints, just whatever you'd like to have that way. Some, uh, If you have some stain in the garage, you can buy stain, but I have leftover stain from other projects that works out fine. I have this, it's a drum sander that just fits on my drill, and I use that to sand down the hole after I have all the planking done, so that's coming in handy. And again, I just cut the sandpaper to fit this. I also picked up some clear gel tacky glue. And that comes in handy. Again, this was at Hobby Lobby. Anything where I mentioned a craft shop, I did pick up at Hobby Lobby. So Now this is totally optional, but this would be like a... Oh, I think I got this in a fishing department at, at Meyer or Walmart. It just has little compartments where I just stick a lot of little things in so I have it handy. My uh, small drill. I keep all my tweezers in here. So. Let me get on the computer and I'll show you where I bought all the equipment, where I got the X-Acto knife, all those tools that I mentioned, I did purchase through Amazon, so I should be able to look those up. Here is everything you'll need to get started on building your model ship. Here is the kit that I purchased on November 2nd of 2018. The current price if you're Amazon Prime is $21.99. So here's the main items. You can see the things that I talked about earlier are all contained in this so you don't have to buy anything separate includes the mat that I talked about again that little hand drill and here's all the uh, tweezers and the files this is the first model that I purchased and it's uh, this happily 
one 130 scale DIY hobby wooden ship. So if you go to Amazon and type that information in, it will come up and you can see the current price is $16.99 with free shipping. It takes about a month to get here. You can order the same ship if you have Amazon Prime and it is I think $17.99. Then when I ordered quite a few of them, I think it's this order, oh goodness, apparently I've ordered a lot of these as you can see. Well, at one point I ordered 12 or maybe 10. Let me look and see what this order was. Okay, this is where I ordered a bulk amount. And this is the exact same model ship. The only difference was the instruction sheet. Even though it had English written on the top, it was blurry. But the components in the boat are just the same. So maybe order one of the more expensive and, well, this shows the same instruction sheet. So you might try this one. This is $12.91 again with free shipping, but it will not arrive for about 30 days. So even though my ship looks different, I did the sales differently, but I will instruct that in the future videos. So um, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing and you'll get the additional videos available as I make them. They're done. I'm just needing to do some additional editing and then I'll show you the actual build of those ships.